Welcome back to Did You Know Dino? Did you know Albertosaurus? Albertosaurus was a large tyrannosaur from Lake Cretaceous, Canada. It was the more gross cousin of T. rex. Well, hey there, buds. Welcome to Canada. Good to see you. The type specimen of Albertosaurus was discovered in the Horseshoe Canyon Formation in 1884 during the famous Bone Wars. Paleontologist Edward Drinker Coop declared it as a new species of Lelaps, which his rifle, O.C. March, had redescribed as a new genus, Diriptosaurus. I say it's a Lelaps! <laughs> it is a Piratosaurus, end of story. It wasn't until 1905 that Albertosaurus would get its own name in a one-page note at the end of paleontologist Henry Fairfield Osborne's description of Tyrannosaurus rex. Oh, and only one page note? Well, that's not very nice there, buds. Albertosaurus environment consisted of lagoons, rivers, and estuaries. The global cooling that occurred during the late Cretaceous caused sea levels to recede. Oh, well, where are you going there, water bud? Don't leave me behind. Like other Tyrannosaurus, Albertosaurus was the apex predator of its ecosystem. It likely preyed on the many Cretaceous and Hedrosaurs that roamed the land. Well, hey there, bud. Sorry to kill you, but you sure are delicious over here. Albertosaurus did not have the same dramatic growth that Tyrannosaurus experienced. It grew slightly more robust as it aged and reached a maximum length of 33 feet with a weight of 2.5 metric tons. This is much smaller compared to the 8-ton behemoth that Tyrannosaurus could become. Well, hey there, Mr. Tyrannosaurus. I'm not as big as you, but at least we're cousins and both look cool, eh? It has been hypothesized, based on fossil evidence, that Albertosaurus lived in family groups and hunted together. Young individuals were very fast and may have herded prey towards the much stronger, albeit slower, adult Albertosaurus. Daddy's coming, be ready! I'm ready, son, I'm ready to eat this buddy and have a good old meal with you. Albertosaurus gives us a better perspective on how Lena Tyrannosaurus lived and thrived in the colder regions of North America. Thanks for watching there, buds. I'm gonna take a little nap. This has been Did You Know Dino? Did You Know Albertosaurus? Thanks so much for watching. Anyways, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Huge thanks as always to Dinosaur Comics for letting me dub their comics. Huge thanks to Renault for editing. Go check out both of them. Links to all the social medias. Links in the description. Anyways, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you like to see more of them down in the comments below. Have a good day. Be good people. And remember, sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit.